Hello guys and welcome to a new Snow Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. There have you a battle group preview of the 97th Guards Rifles. This is the first of two new divisions available in the first Nemesis DLC, San Domiege. This DLC is going to come out on the 8th of October and will be available to everybody for free if you own the game, of course. So thumbs up to you Jim for that. Awesome stuff. Make sure you go get it. Okay, uh, let's jump on in. If you'd like to read the description, feel free to pause. Now, as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of the units available in the division, and then we're going to throw together a brief battle group. Uh, it won't be optimal, of course, because I don't have that much time to go through it all and make sure it's perfect, but it'll give you an idea of how the battle group is supposed to work, hopefully. Right, let's start off in the recon tab. So the recon's pretty standard. First of all, we got the motorcycle. Then we got the Doso, the two-man recon teams. In terms of transports, it's pretty standard. And get the M3A1 Resvitka in there as well. Uh, Motor Resvitka, standard four-man squads. And they also have the M3A1 Resvitka as their transport if you want it. Uh, snipers are also available. And again, similar transports. Then there is a new unit, the Razved Doso. Now these guys are an 8-man squad, 6 MP40s, and they have a sniper, the SVTs, and then they've got the DT there. So they've got the sniper machine gun combo, similar to the Osnaz VMF. And that's going to make them pretty strong at pinning units at a distance. But also the machine gun is move and shoot, it's a DT. So that means on the move in close range engagements, these can put out quite a lot of DPS as well and do quite a lot of damage. But at the 35 point price tag, these will get killed off by more cost efficient squads at close range. Especially things like Pioneers will just blap these squads because they've only got 8 strength. So that's something to be a little bit concerned about and I'm not really sure if they're worth bringing. Uh, and they also have 3 smoke grenades which can be quite interesting for sort of I guess smoking them off at a distance if you start engaging something and then you want to pull back but yeah I'm not really sure I'm not a huge fan of them they're an interesting squad nice flavor with the mp40s in the squad but otherwise yeah not a fan t3476 Revitka is also available in the recon tab and a t34 recon okay over to the infantry we've got the Sepadi PPSH four-man squad and uh, not any exciting transports they can get in Dushkas uh, but you've only got four of them available, so you'd have to like seriously upvet these in order to use them. Um, Avtos, Avto Comrati, this is again standard transports. GV Comrati, these are probably better because they're three man squads. And uh, then you've got the Gavardia, you've actually got five cards of Gavardia. Tanko de Saniki can come in the M2A1 half tracks, so you've got eight of those available. So you could upvet the tankos in phase B and then you get yourself two star M2A1s as well. So that could be interesting unless you want to use them at the start of the game. Uh, there are of course Avtos as well, two cards of those, three cards of Gavardia DP. Uh, these have of course two machine guns. Then a card of Saperi, Saperi Kamrati and the Strafniki. Now Saperi Kamrati, they've got the Panzerfaust. Uh, GV Comrati, they're probably my preferred because they've got the smoke and they engage at the same range. So yeah, it looks like GV Comrati is probably my favourite for leaders here. Strafniki, probably going to be used for sure. 40, man, or 40 point squad with 20 men. These things can be pretty, pretty, good, pretty good indeed. Anyway, tanks. Let's jump into the tank tab. Get one card of the T-34-76-1943s. There's a card of the T-34-85 Comrotis. Uh, there's also the Ace version of that as well. Although you can get a lot of these. Four in Phase A, eight in Phase B. And then six in Phase... Or 16 in Phase C. Oh, these are just standard T-34-85-1943s. It kind of confused me because the names... Uh, yellow because of the ace but that's not a leader that's just standard t-34s uh, you, then you got the is-1s well there's only one is-1 available similar to the 26th guards 
and they've got two cards of IS-2 1944s. Now these are the better IS-2s because they have the 180mm of frontal armor instead of the 1943 variant which has 160mm of frontal armor. So this can bounce quite a lot from range and that's pretty good. Right over to support tab. NKVD are going to be the first one in the support tab. Uh, no exciting transports for them. Standard military police. If you had some sort of disheartened units here then NKVD might be worth it but they're just kind of in the divisions for flavor most of the time. Um, Ognemachiki of course, your two-man flamer squads almost always going to have them. Um, Maxims, SG43s, nothing too new here. All very standard OB25 infantry guns. Nice that you do get those. Three cards of supply, and then you've got motorcycle co uh, commander in phase A. You've got the M2 combat in phase B, and then the M3A1 combat in phase C. All right, let's go over to the anti-tank. So, anti-tank, you do get cards of the VZVOD PTR. These are pretty nice squads, uh, but unfortunately they don't fit into very fast vehicles. If they fit into a Jeep, these could be super strong, but of course they don't. So, yeah, three, TR, three PTRDs is great for transport sniping and killing light armor, but in the grand scheme of things, because they can't be used effectively from the start of the round, uh, they're not as useful as standard two-man PTRD or PTRS squads. And there is two cards of 45mm AT guns. Using these at the start, probably a good idea. And then you've got ZIS-3s. There's actually four cards of ZIS-3s. That's because historically uh, the 97th was backed up by a lot of AT. And then you've got two uh, ZIS-2s, two cards of ZIS-2s, which is quite nice because these are very effective at taking on uh, medium armour. And then you've got the SU-85s, which are fantastic for ambushing from light cover. So, there we go. Alright, over to the anti-air. We've got two cards of Maxim 4Ms. Not terribly useful anti-air. Then we've got two cards of the 37mm. These guys can come in Dushka trucks, but wouldn't really recommend it. For 10 points, I don't think the Dushka truck's really worth it. Uh, M17s, really, really nice. These are very, very fast at pinning down enemy aircraft. Head on with one of these if like an aircraft tries to strafe it. These could probably end up shooting it down, especially like standard fighters and fighter bombers. Uh, maybe not so much like a bigger bomber. But yeah, uh, nice to have around. And then we've got a card of the 85s. They are in there as well. And we there is the Matador resupply vehicles. You'd probably bring those in with artillery, if anything. Speaking of artillery, let's jump over and see what we got. So artillerists to start, of course. And that they just have standard transports. No amphibious transports available in this division. Uh, Vizivod are there as well. And we got two cards of F-22s. These can be brought in with the supply trucks. And then there's five cards of 82mm mortars. You do get access to the off-map rockets. Now this is cool because this is something that's available in the Moskaya Bakhtina, I think it is. You get the riverboat barrage. Pretty cool. And it's very effective at pinning down a large area. You only get one strike though with these. So you've really got to be on the ball. And these you bring them in behind your line just as you're about to... I guess push on your enemy and you can just pin them all down with crazy suppression that continues for quite a while and then that's it but yeah you can bring these in phase c for like some serious firepower then there's the uh, 120 more mortar card available there's some 122s these heat shells can be very useful for taking on enemy armor uh, but other than that not a favor a favorite of these uh 122s there's 152 mil off map, and there's also 300 mil off map from a biplane. But this biplane is not standard 300 mil off map; it is actually an Andrusha battery. So it fires in Andrushas, which is really cool. 
and uh, those 300 mil and the Rusha rockets certainly going to be doing a lot of damage. So I think this is going to be a very fun anti or a very fun uh, off map to play with, uh, and I'm excited to try it out in game. Yeah, pretty cool. Only available in phase A and B. In phase A, I think it'd probably be maybe the most useful, just a bit of shock and awe at the start. Over to the air tab. Now the air tab, you've only got five slots here, but there's quite a lot to choose from. You've got the recon aircraft, the PO2 biplane and the PE2R aircraft. Then there is uh, cluster HE, IL2M3s. These, I think are available in one other division already. They're not very effective at all. So I wouldn't really rely on these. Uh, there is the IL-2 M3 with 50 uh, kilogram HE bombs. This is much more effective. This can one run uh, AT guns and support weapons. So that's good to have. And you can get three of them in phase A. And there's the uh, P-283 with the 10 100 kilogram bombs. Only one of these available in phase A, but I think it goes up to four and then six in B and C. IL-2 M3s. These are nice because they have uh, eight rockets. Some of these IL-2 M3s with AT rockets only have six, uh, but this is one with eight and therefore is going to be more effective at taking out armored targets. So that's good support. You got the P2s with four 250 kilogram bombs, two cards of the P39 Cobras, and then a card or two cards of the P283 ground attack uh, rocket aircraft and these they've got 10 he rockets now these he rockets are only 82 millimeters so i don't think they're terribly effective but imagine if you brought both cards in phase c and got 14 of them i guess you could overwhelm quite a few things regardless uh that's everything nothing special in defense uh let's have a look so with the two cards of IS-2 is available and then T-34s in the sort of early mid game. I kind of feel like this would be great using the new Juggernaut. So all of the deployment types got updated. Juggernaut is now very much more like balanced. Except from it doesn't have the decent income in phase B that balanced had. But crazy in phase C compared to all of the other deployment types now. And that'd be very, very good for being able to afford the 180 point IS-2s. It's always going to take you more than a minute to be able to purchase one. But yeah, I'm going to go for Juggernaut. And we're going to start in the recon tab. So I kind of want to try these out. So I'm going to bring them probably in the late game. B or C would be the best time when I actually have the cash to do so. I'll bring them in phase C, I think. And then in phase A, I'm probably just going to use some doso in some trucks, and I'm not going to make them terribly expensive. Let's bring them in motorcycles, because motorcycles are faster. Actually, snipers would be better. Yeah, snipers would be a better shout. We'll do snipers instead. Okay, that's my recon done. Infantry tab. I definitely want GV Conrotti. I'm just thinking whether or not we want to do that in A... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in A. So we'll do GV Comrotti in A, and then I'm going to do the Artillery Visivod in Phase B. That's because I'm not a fan of the other two leaders here, the Avtos and the Sepadi Comrotti. Sepadi are only available in Phase A, and Avtos are available in Phase B, but you get six of them. I guess that could be a use. There's quite a lot of infantry tabs here. Hmm. Anyway, uh, definitely want the staffs. Staffs can probably come in in phase C as well. And then we rely on cheaper stuff in phase A. So probably standard Gavardia and Gavardia DP. And then I'm thinking Sapari in phase A as well. Then we do upvetted Tankos in phase B with M2A1s. Plus some standard Gavardia. because they're cheap. And then Gavardia in phase C as well to accompany the Strafs. Although I'm thinking maybe I need another card in phase C as well. We do like Gavardia DP as well. Risky, but with a Juggernaut might be worth it. 
tanks, we definitely want both of these in phase C. So I'm just going to go all out on the IS-2s in phase C. We're going to have the IS-1 in phase A. Uh, with probably kind of tempted to bring in the T-34-85 in phase A. Now let's do T-34-76 is in phase A and then T-34-85 is in phase B. We won't bring the leader. Okay, so we already used up 30 points, which is quite significant. I think OBs would be a good shout because we're not exactly short on infantry here. So let's bring in the OBs. I'm going to need supply and we're going to need a commander. Now, commander, we could actually do a game where I just bring in leaders in phase B instead of phase A. That'd be kind of risky. Like no leaders in A. That seems like a bad idea. But I was thinking like we just bring in phase B commander. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Phase B commander. It's only 100 points as well. It's much cheaper than the other two. And then I'm not going to add supply just yet because I don't know how much artillery I'm going to have. But we'll look at anti-tank. I definitely want a card of these in phase A. And we're probably going to put in some SU-85s in phase A as well. With two-star veterancy. To make up for our lack of medium tanks there. Then I'm looking at maybe a card of this twos. I'm going to continue to the anti-air first. Okay. Reason being is I just want to make sure that I've got enough activation points to get stuff that I want. So definitely want the M17s in phase B. And I think we do phase C upverted 37s. And then phase A unvetted 37s. Like so. Right, our aircraft costs quite a lot. But there's a couple of aircraft that I want. Of course, I'm going to want a card of fighters. And we're going to want a card of maybe bombers. That's what I'm thinking. Like the IL-2 M3 is would be pretty useful. Maybe one more card there. Okay, let's finish off the artillery tab. We're going to be using a lot of off-map. We do actually get two cards of this off map. I'm going to want these in phase C. I'm thinking 120mm mortars would be a good shout. And again, it might be better to bring something that can use up the supply. Or something just like the F-22s, then we save on activation points. I'm not a huge fan of F-22s normally, but it does give you reasonable fire support in the early game. I may have gone a bit overboard with the infantry tab. Because this is four points up here. And I definitely want to add in two cards of off map, I think. This one in phase B. This in phase A. This in phase B. And then I also probably want to do a card of artillery. I really wish I could bring 120 mil mortars in uh, the supply trucks. Because that would help us out a lot. That's going to be like a no artillery phase A. Eh? That's really risky. I'm going to have to go, I think, for the mortars, the 82mm mortars instead. 
because then I can have smoke support, which is really important, and HE support. Okay, let's drop a unit of infantry here, or drop the Gavardia EP. That'll give us another four points to play with. So my artillery tab's pretty much full. The air tab. I'm thinking of adding some bombers. Just something for the late game that can kind of overwhelm defenses should I need need to. Don't think late game AT is particularly an issue. And again, having some Zis 2s to be able to play around with is going to be quite nice. Or leave us with three points. We need some supply. Phase A supply, probably phase B supply as well. If I take away the OBs, we can add that. Okay, it's looking better, but I'm not taking a second card of Arty. Maybe we have to do this. I bring in the Phase B Mortars instead of the Visivod. And we change the GV Comrotti to Phase B. That's looking better. My RT tab is, is much safer now. I'm not too keen on the fact that we got a points bear because I definitely could remove something to get the activation points there. Maybe get rid of the Razor Dozo. Although I do want to try them out, so I think I'm going to keep them. I'll bring them in Phase A instead. And then we'll. Go for P2 bombers in phase C. Let's do that. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there, I think. It's looking okay, honestly. Um, we do have like the Juggernaut deployment type here, so we'll be able to afford the IS-2s in phase C. We can keep them covered by upvetted 37s. We're going to have ample uh, command and leaders with the GV Comrotti in B, backed up by the commander. Got the IS-1 one in Phase A for any leaders leadership anyway. Got some shock and all with the 300mm biplane. And then mortars just to stay on the field with other off-map in the late game. And this off-map is basically to allow my infantry push. And also uh, the IS-2s. There's a lot of infantry in Phase B. I was just thinking about... Could be better to move that Gavardia card to phase A as well. Just to keep things a bit more balanced towards phase A. Don't know. Anyway, yeah. That's where I'm going to leave it. In terms of defenses, <laughs> some of you guys are sticklers for defenses. We'll just put in Maxims, 45s, and trenches. There we go. All right. That is the 97th guards rifles complete beautiful and in general i think this is going to be a very strong division it does have the a offensive rating which basically means it's going to be pretty jack of all trades and available and able to attack very strong I think in 3v3 and 4v4, a juggernaut version of this division will be very, very strong. In 1v1, honestly, I think it could be strong as well because you do have access to a lot of stuff. Uh, the IL-2s, uh, those, those bombers in the early game are really strong. Uh, some strong early game off map. You've got some decent medium tank cover, uh, plenty of cheap infantry. Now, this division really does have everything that you want out of a standard guards rifle division on the Soviet side. But yeah, that's it. I like it. It doesn't have anything too shining about it, but the fact that it's got like the like the little off map vehicles and little bits here and there, and the, like the Rizford does, or I do want to see how effective those are. I think this could be a really strong division. Look forward to using it. All right, next up will be the new axis division which hosts the brand new king tigers so look forward to that that's it 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,